you know where we're at, Grenada, home of the three pound crappie. Let's get this episode started. That's right, guys. If you know three pound fishing, you know that we love Grenada, the home of the three pound fish. It's a, it's just a great experience coming back. And as you can see, even on this particular day, we put some major slabs in the boat. And you're going to see a lot of those catches on this episode. But most importantly, we're going to be here for a while. We're going to show you around where we're staying, the whole experience. So if you're new to Grenada, Mississippi, this is going to be a great episode for you. So thanks for watching, folks. It just doesn't get any better than Grenada. So because of the wind today, me and Scott are uh, basically looking around for just about anything just to get out of the wind. And we've been in this first cove right out of the marina, uh, or I'm sorry, the landing. And uh, yeah, well, it's gonna be out of the wind once we get past these points here. And I uh, should have a good evening to fish with minimal wind. But it's a heck of a day, you're in Grenada. It's always gonna be good. So decided to take a trip down here spend some time down here without uh having to worry about a tournament that's always fun february is the best time to do grenada any time of the year so february it's just a great time february is a great time to catch big fish on grenada so i totally recommend it to you guys what do you think scott i'm loving it having a great time biggest fish i've ever seen <laughs> bring it on <laughs> he's he crazy it to him. Boom. <gasps> Short strike. I thought I had him. Got him. Stop flip, boat flip. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. The bottom. So right now, folks, we're just dropping in on some st structured fish right here. And there's one right there. And uh, it's a combination of everything today. In a high wind day on Grenada. That's a slab, that's a slab. And you're getting a look at the, uh, the 13, the new 13 footer that's gonna be coming out. It's gonna have a slightly different paint job but uh, pretty close you'll be able to get those at three pound fishing we will have a pre-sale right before it's offered up Good fish. I got it, it's all right, man. Oh. <laughs> I can't help but get excited. <laughs> wow. Good fish there, folks. Bam. On the 13 foot. That's a good fish. Well, folks, you guys have heard a lot about the hog fishing nets and these things are incredible. When we talk about sexy, we talk about sexy. And these nets are sexy. Any color you want, this is called ruby. All red, red hoop. Beautiful. Check them out at hogfishing.com. Grenada would not be the same without the crappie breaks. That I can tell you right now, those crappie breaks have been critical. 14 mile an hour winds. We got some slabs in the boat, and with those, it just makes it that much easier. Me and Scott are having a ball. Not many boats out here because of the wind but chocolate milk catching slabs and one of the fun things we've done today is we did get out the uh, 16 footer and got the fish with it for the first time uh, definitely gonna be a couple tweaks done to it but other than that scott's actually really a big fan of it i'm I, i'm a i am a 13 footer kind of type of guy and a 10 footer as we all know and so, uh, as far as the rods are concerned, without getting into too much detail, the 10 footer will come out first, and then we will have the 13, and then there's gonna be some, perhaps even a smaller size that will come out as well. What do we got there, bud? Anything there? Is that a fish line? Let's see, we know his nose is out in front. Mm -hmm. He just swam that way. 
That's a good drop. Good drop. Good drop. Come on, baby. You're all up in these. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's so oh, sexy. All up in his grill. <laughs> Look at that guy. We're going to call him Snow White. No doubt. You definitely got to put them on it, put it on our noses. Yeah, if you like Ren Lake, you like this. <laughs> I love Ren Lake. <laughs> Those are the kind of fish you want, right, Scott? Exactly. Fish that actually will bite and they make it happen quickly. Good fish. While he dresses that fish up, I'm gonna. All right, guys, we just got back to our uh, the house we're renting here in Grenada, Mississippi. There's not a lot of choices in terms of, of renting houses in Mississippi on, on near Grenada. But we just came across this one and uh, we like it. I'll show you the catch of the day. Let's see if we can't uh, show you some of these pigs. Two pound fish. That's pretty much the best we could do today. Really good fish. If you haven't been to Grenada, you need to come. Of course, got my buddies at PTG. And uh, this is Scott's first time actually here, right? Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna move down here. <laughs> He's moving down here. It doesn't get much better. I mean, when you got fish like that, we got a bucket full. We kept, we kept basically, I'm gonna say 12 fish. We probably caught a total of 20 today. Could've, could've kept Biggest them. fish I ever seen. We wasn't throwing them back. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, they don't get much better than this, folks. It just don't. You have. Hey guys, this is the owner of the VRBO that I'm staying at right now. <laughs> Tell them how to get a hold of you. Hey, I'm Ruthie Taylor. And what do you mean how to get a hold of me? <laughs> What's your phone number? What's, how, if they want to book. Oh, if book. they want to book, well, Airbnb or VRBO, or you can call my office, which is Taylor Auction and Realty. And it's 662-226-2080. Perfect. Yeah. There's the house, guys. Check it out. Ample room for boats. It's really nice. I think you're gonna like it. <laughs>